Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! The second platform for accessing power is power that is accessed through the understanding of scripture. There is a dimension of power that is accessed through the understanding of scripture. You can also put in bracket comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom. The second level of spiritual power is accessed through understanding of scripture, understanding the mysteries of the kingdom. The principles of the kingdom have within them a measure and a dimension of God's power already pre-programmed. Please listen. You can access a dimension of spiritual power based on light, illumination that comes from scripture. Acts chapter 20 and verse 32 it says and now brethren I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance it takes power for you to walk in that inheritance and that because you have embraced the word of God it is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified second Peter chapter 3 and verse 18 Second Peter 3 18 it says but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ to him be glory both now and forever amen grow in grace and in the knowledge the original rendition there is not just grow in grace and in the knowledge it is grow in grace through the knowledge grow in grace and your growth in grace comes through knowledge the higher your level of light the higher the spiritual power that you command are we together now yes there are things you need to know about the kingdom the way the kingdom was built advancement and power is light dependent to the degree to which you access the scriptures that means if someone comes and he's saying listen there is darkness in this and that area of my life I need help you must have the level of spiritual understanding to be able to guide them to access the power of God that comes through knowledge. Fight ignorance. Fight ignorance. Fight ignorance, believers. Obtain grace to study and that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scripture which is able to make you wise unto salvation. You must obtain grace to have high level spiritual illumination. This is the reason why coming to the house of God is very important because the house of God affords you very cheaply the privilege of being methodically mentored, guided in partnership with the Holy Spirit. When he, the spirit of truth is come, before the Holy Spirit came as the spirit of power in Acts chapter 2, Jesus told us that he will come and guide us. You're not going to walk in spiritual power in ignorance. It will be a risk. For you to be a powerful but ignorant believer power comes with light light power comes with illumination and jesus himself the powerful knew what he would do is god speaking to someone power for instance there are certain possibilities in the kingdom that if you just have wisdom that comes through the word you will know what to do let me show you a scripture I found this scripture and it really blessed me. Proverbs 3.35. While I was preparing this note, I just stumbled across this scripture and it ministered so deeply to me and I added it among the scriptures. It says, The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. The wise, you will always see the glory of God around the life and the corridors of wisdom. The wisdom that comes through the word it's impossible for your life to not capture and manifest the glory of God if you submit to the wisdom of the word financial glory glory in terms of influence whatever it is the power of God revealed through your life by reason 
of accessing wisdom. For instance, if doors have been closed against you and you are trusting God for open doors, it's not just the issue of demons and casting out demons. Maybe you do not have the wisdom to understand the gift and the ministry of men. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, send somebody to my life to help me. And God says that dimension of power is released through understanding. The favor of God can come and wait at the corridor of your destiny for many years. But because you have not gone to understand the dynamics, honor, value, see, your destiny helper can come sent by God to beautify and glorify your life. But you use your mouth, you use carelessness, you use dishonor and lack of discernment to recycle seasons of pain. You can pray and fast, but because you do not understand the principles of scripture. Hallelujah. This is very important. You must learn the ways of God. There are many of you who don't read books. You don't study any material. You don't learn. The Bible says, buy the truth and sell it not. It takes hunger and diligence. Please go online and listen to my message, buy the truth. I preached it in Takoradi in Ghana. Buy the truth. It's a very, I listed there in that teaching five currencies that we use to buy the truth. Hunger, meekness, honor. These are currencies that we use to buy the truth. You must passionately learn. Learn the things that you do not know. Knowledge is available. Knowledge is more available today than it was any time in history. It takes humility and a recognition that if I do not know and I remain in darkness, anything you want to learn today, it is available. You want to make yourself more valuable, even physically, it is available. Your destiny helper comes to your house and you don't know how to cook and you say, God will favor me. You did not bless the person. Are you not in trouble? Can't you go and meet somebody to learn how to cook as a way of preparing to honor your destiny helper? A man old enough to be your father comes to your house and after two hours, you give him a cup of cold water and he says, God forbid. <laughs> Hallelujah. You do not understand the principles of relationship and courtesy to greet. Those little, little things can rob you of the power of God. You may not see the power that is invested through knowledge. Believers, please hear me. You must understand the word dimension of the power of God. Go for the word. I immerse myself in knowledge. The knowledge of scripture and then wisdom from men and women with proven track records. It's not only God I want to know. I want to know the men I am sent to. I want to understand how men think. I want to understand the principles of influence. I want to understand leadership. I want to understand how to impact people. It's not an impartation. It comes by knowledge. Go and buy books. Go online. Settle down. Give yourself revelation projects and settle down and learn if you're with me say amen. amen please obtain grace to learn obtain grace to learn don't be lazy reject laziness it is of the devil it is a robber and a destroyer of beauty and color from a destiny A lazy generation that just believes in impartation alone will only be making a mockery of themselves. Let me tell you sincerely. It is often said, on easy lies the head that wears the crown. If you are a man of God, the only thing you learn is not, it's not only prayer and fasting and Bible study you learn. You must learn administration. You must learn finances. You must learn leadership. You must learn people skills. Are we together? There are all kinds of veterans of leadership within this ministry. Go and subscribe for their programs and learn and build capacity. Sometimes we suffer the pain of a generation that does not want diligence, but we want results. 
oh God it doesn't matter how you do let me just see the results I know you are merciful the mercy of God is not a license for foolishness let me tell you the truth a diligent hand shall be made fat there are many lazy preachers I'm sorry to say there are many lazy business people you want to have influence over people it is not only anointing you will need an empty and a dull head nobody will come and submit to any leadership that does not have capacity people are intelligent people don't forget that some of the people you will find around you are also leaders in their corporations conglomerates they have children some of them are employers of people to the thousands they will not come and sit down under a leader that does not know what he's saying there has to be a high level of advanced developed intelligence your mind must be alive not your spirit alone and it takes diligence receive grace to be diligent shout a loud amen receive grace to be diligent avoid premature manifestation if you are not ready sit down when you are ready the door will open if the door is closed is god's mercy keeping you so that you don't rubbish the opportunity he's giving you sit down sit down and learn make up your mind that when god brings you to your season of appearance you will not bring shame and reproach to yourself and to the name of Christ. Hallelujah. The understanding of scripture empowers men to release that dimension of God's power. The Bible says, There is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty, to penury. That means if you are a greedy person who is always withholding, forget about increase. Whether it is in the secular or in the kingdom, you see, giving is one of the major active ingredients as far as kingdom wealth and prosperity is concerned. God will not trust you. I hope you know that wealth in the kingdom is not an achievement. No. Maybe in the world it will be, but in the kingdom wealth is a trust from God. A man can receive nothing except it is given to him from above. And there are conditions that must be met. God loves everybody, but according to Matthew chapter 25, I think from verse 16 or so, the parable of the talents, the Bible tells us very clearly that he gave unto one five talents, he gave unto one one talent, uh, two talents, he gave unto one one talent, according to their several abilities, not according to his love for them. He loved all of them, but he gave them according to their capacities. And at the end of the story, we see that he was just and fair to have done that. In the kingdom, God will not cast his spell before swine. You want God to commit to you the grace for nations and territories. It has to rise and match your level of spiritual and intellectual acumen. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire!